Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to teach you about the four different types of pages that are available in Squarespace. We have standard pages, collection lists, collection items, and then auto pages like a checkout page or a search result page. We're going to take a look at the differences between each one of these so you can figure out which one is perfect for your website needs. Now, if you're brand new to Squarespace, I have a lot more to teach you about this. Head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash training. But if you're ready for this overview, let's hop on into Squarespace and take a look at these different page types. Inside Squarespace, we have standard pages. These are made up of individual page sections. They have their own page settings, including SEO information and a social share image. And the page section inside these standard pages can be made with the Fluid Engine Editor or the Classic Editor. Fluid Engine allows us to make some changes that we don't find in Classic, like creating layers or adjusting the mobile version of our site. So it's a pretty awesome feature of a standard page. We'll also find collection lists in Squarespace. This displays a list of collection item details. Now you can have a page section placed above or below the list, fluid or classic, but each collection has its own design options. And we'll take a look at those later on in this video here. The collection items inside those lists, they have individual pages and a nested URL structure. Think of it like website.com forward slash blog forward slash post. That's the individual collection item. Now, each collection item type has its own design. Sound like a lot, but don't worry, we're going to look at some specific examples, so stick with me here. The last type that I wanted to mention is the auto-generated page. These are pages created by Squarespace, like a checkout page or a page that shows up when someone searches for content on your site. You have some limited customization capabilities, including the URL. You can't have a page on your website that ends forward slash cart because that's going to automatically be the shopping cart if you have a store on your site. So that's what I mean by limited customization capabilities. You also can't change much about the checkout process, like adding specific images or an audio block or a video. Those have limited customization capabilities and they're auto-generated inside Squarespace. So here we are in a standard page. And if we hop into our pages menu, when you click this plus sign, you'll get the option to create a blank page or a page layout. These are both standard pages. Regardless of what you start with, you can customize anything about it. So even if you start with one of these designer layouts, you can still customize anything you need to inside this page. You'll see these pages have different sections with different content blocks, a lot of different options. This page right here is a standard page and you can see by that little icon right there. That means this is a standard page. Clicking on this gear icon, this is how I can edit the settings for this individual page. Changing the title, navigation title, URL slug, password protecting it, SEO options, social share image, duplicating or setting it as a home page. I have additional training videos linked beneath this one that gets into some page settings there, so definitely check those out. Now let's talk about these collection lists and collection items. We actually have five types of collection pages inside Squarespace. You First up, we have blogs, which are made up of individual blog posts. Now these blog posts can have content blocks. Blocks of content can be things like text, videos, images, buttons, all kinds of fun stuff that you can add to an individual post. You can't have separate sections inside a blog and blog posts are still using what we call the classic editor, not fluid engine. So you can't edit the mobile version of your site separately from the desktop version for an individual blog post. Now, some special features include scheduling posts in advance, adding tags and categories to help people navigate through your content, and even enabling comments if you want people to comment on individual posts. You can also have multiple blogs on your site. You are not limited to just one. Next up, we have online stores, which are made up of individual product pages. Now, all of the products in one store are going to have the same layout. You have a couple of different layout options, and I have a training video about that linked below, but every single product inside a store will have the same layout. However, you can have multiple online stores on your Squarespace website. Again, you're not limited to just one. Some special features of the online store in Squarespace include scheduling a product in advance if you want to delay the release of a specific product for a special date, you can also have categories and tags so people can navigate through your content easily, and you can feature related products. So some exciting stuff available there for stores. Next up, we have events. 
Event lists are made up of individual events, and those pages can have content blocks very similar to a blog post, not individual page sections, but blocks of content. Now, some special features of the events can include scheduling in advance. If you want people to only be aware of an event on a specific date, you can have the event made public on that day. You can also add tags and categories for easy navigation. And just like a blog post, you can let people comment on your events as well. Video collections are fairly new in Squarespace, and they're pretty exciting. They're made up of individual video pages. There are limited customization capabilities here. There are no content block features. You can only have a video, title, description, and then metadata, like the date the video was published or tags or a category related to that video. Now, some of the special features here, again, include scheduling in advance. If you want to release a video on a certain date, you can set it up in your site ahead of time and release it only on a scheduled date. You can add categories for easy navigation and narrowing down your content. And you can also have the video hosted directly within your Squarespace site. So you don't have to worry about getting an additional server. It's all gonna be there on your Squarespace site. So that's a pretty cool feature. And last but not least, we have portfolios, and that is my favorite type of collection page in Squarespace. Portfolios are made up of project pages that have page sections. These page sections can be classic or fluid. You can have a gallery section or a list section. They're just as customizable as a standard page, but they include that nested URL structure where it will say yourwebsite.com forward slash portfolio forward slash project. And they also have pagination, which lets you click through to the previous or next project inside that portfolio. And if you're using a fluid page section, you have that mobile design flexibility. So definitely one of my favorite collection pages. Now, again, we've got the auto-generated page, like a search results page or your checkout page. There's not a lot of customization capabilities, and you can't add those to your main navigation or your not linked section. Technically, you can add the cart to your main navigation if you enable the cart in the header of your Squarespace website. I have a tutorial about that linked below. But how do you add these standard pages or collection lists or items to your Squarespace website? You use these plus signs. To add one to your main navigation, use the plus sign next to main navigation. And for not linked, click this plus sign right here. That lets you edit a page and work on it before you add it to your main navigation, which I think can be really helpful when you're just starting out with your site. So if you click this plus sign, you'll see blank pages and page layouts. Again, super customizable, both of them. If you select a page layout, it's just a great place to start, but you can modify it just as much as you can a blank page. Then after that, you'll see the list of collections, blog, store, portfolio, events, and videos. Click on any of those to add it to your site. And don't forget, you can have multiples. If you want to have eight blogs, two portfolios, and five stores, totally up to you. You can have as many collection pages as you would like in your Squarespace website. And this is how you add them. Again, we're going to click on that plus sign in our pages menu and select either a blank page or page layout. That'll be your standard page or start with a collection. Alrighty, that wraps it up for this overview about the different page types in Squarespace. And this is just the tip of the iceberg, my friend. I have so much more to teach you about editing the content of your website. I have some related videos linked below, but I want you to head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash training to check out my mini course about creating your brand new website. I've got a lot to teach you from setup to settings, and I'd love to share this information with you. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash training. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a like and a comment if you did, and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week, and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. To learn more about all the cool things you can do with Squarespace, head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash training. There you'll find more resources just like this one. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash training.